I feel really sick today. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Lip Hoodie, welcome to my channel. Today's video, I thought I would start to bring in the summer videos and show how I made this really quick and simple summer bronzy with a pop of colour lip. I honestly love this look so much. I think it's very, you know, Jamie Genevieve-esque, but also it's a kind of everyday glam kind of look. I don't know, I'm not really good at like describing things other than it's really pretty. So yeah, if you would like to know how to get this lovely bronzed kind of beachy goddess kind of look, then just keep on watching and we'll just get right on into the video. Okay, so since this look is for summer, we're probably going to assume that there will be a lot of sunshine. Here in the UK, we have had a lot of sun, so I'm going to go ahead and use a primer with a really high SPF. This is the Keiko City Filter Primer, and it has SPF 50 in it. I'm not too sure if you can buy this anymore, because I did get it in like a Keiko sale a while back, but just any primer that has like a high SPF will be the best for you to use. I just take like about a pump and a half, and then just... Put it all over my face. <laughs> I never look classy whenever I'm putting on primer. I just, I don't know. I mean, you're rubbing your face. How can anybody look nice doing that? I love the smell of this primer as well. Like, it really smells like summer. Like, you know how SPF just have a smell, but this primer has that smell? I don't know. I just really like the smell of it. I'm gonna be really sad never ever night. This primer gives me a bit of glow. I think that's why I like SPF so much because it normally is really glowy. Not only does it protect your skin, it also gives you like a bit of a summer glow, which is really good if you ask me. Okay, so if you've followed me for a while, you will know that I always start my brows first before I put anything else on my face just so that I can make sure that I've got it like down. So I'm just gonna go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Taupe. And I'm gonna take that on my Zoeva Brow Line brush. I'm just gonna run that through my brows. This summer, I have been really digging in like the kind of bushy, thick, untamed brow kind of look. Um, maybe it's just because I can't be bothered to shape my brows in this heat. So I am gonna make these quite thick and a bit bushy, just following the natural shape of my brow. And now just to make the brows a little bit more fluffy, I'm gonna go in with my Take a Brow by Barry M. It's a bit grim showing you this because this was originally clear. I get so much product in it because of the dip brow and everything. I think I honestly just don't use this right. But because I use it so much, it's kind of like changed from clear, as you can see at the end here, to like a murky brown color. It's so gross. I'm so sorry you have to witness this. I mean, it still does the job. It's just not Instagram worthy. <laughs> it comes with like a little mascara one like this here, like most brow gels do. So I just kind of like, Go backwards on my brows. First I kind of backcomb them just to add some volume and like fluff them up a bit and also making sure you get the product on them. And then I double dip and shape them the way I want to. So I like to like brush up at the front of my brows to kind of fluff them out and then I kind of brush in an upwards diagonal motion for the rest of my brows because I'll still fluff them up but also shape them a bit and they won't look as like mental. Um, I have quite thick and curly brows so I find that this works best for me. If you have like quite thin brows I'd maybe suggest not using as much product unless like that is something that you like. I mean if you like using a lot of product then go ahead with that but I just use a lot of product because I have big bushy <laughs> thick curly brows. And now just to finish off the brows, I'm going to go in with my Revolution Concealing Defined Concealer. This one is in the shade C3 because I have a bit of a tan on at the moment and if I use my regular C1 it'll be like a little too light for me. So I'm just going to go in with C3 and I'm going to take like a concealer brush like this one and just put a bit on my hand and then just carve out my eyebrows. And when I'm using the concealer on my brows, I make sure to only do it on the bottom of my brows because I find if I put it on the top of my brows it doesn't really blend in with my foundation nicely. Do you ever like say so many weird senses that you actually start to question whether or not you can speak the language that you're speaking? Okay and I'm just bringing the concealer down to my eyelids because I had a little bit of extra and we already know that I like to prime my eyelids with this stuff anyway so I may as well just kill two birds with one stone. Okay and you've probably seen it in my hand already but for the eyes and highlight I'm going to be using the Carly by Belle Deluxe Edition palette by BH Cosmetics. I love this palette. I, I've spoken about it in a few favourites videos and stuff. I just, I think the pigmentation of this palette is brilliant. I think that colour scheme behind this palette is just amazing. I love Carly and I think that this palette is just so versatile. So I'm just going to be using this today. I'm just going to take this darker brown shade right here on my Zoeva Luxe Crease Brush. Um, but any fluffy blending brush will do and you don't need to have this palette, just any kind of brine that suits that colour or matches that colour will do you as well. I'm just going to run that through my crease and under my eye. 
you guys should know already if you watch my videos that I love bringing my eyeshadow under my eye. I feel like it ties the whole look in together. And if you didn't know that and you're not a long time viewer, then you should definitely go down and hit the subscribe button. I don't know why, but I always have like one eye that always comes out way better than the other eye. Comment down below if any of you guys have that as well. It's like... I don't know, it's so strange. What well, I managed to get like makeup on my face. I must have dipped into something accidentally. Okay, and once I've deepened my crease, I'm gonna go in with this shimmery brown shade here. And I'm just gonna take that on my finger because I feel like that gives off the better pigment pale for shimmers. I have like so much left on my finger. It's like my fingers are like made of copper. Whoa! There's so much left of that! That is insane! I don't know, I just think the pigment of this palette is just really good. This isn't sponsored by the way, I just really like the palette. I wish it was from Carly Bybell if you've seen this. Sponsor me. Okay, and I'm gonna take some of that on to my same fluffy brush and just kind of blend that up into the other brown shade just to kind of blend it more together. Okay, and finally on the eyes, I'm just gonna take this gold shade right here and I'm gonna put that again with my finger right in the center. And it's gonna tap it in just to add a bit more definition and then I'm gonna pop the same golden shade on the inner corners and voila! Now that we have the eyes done, I just wanna kind of blend that even further into the brow bones. So I'm going to take this highlight right here and I'm gonna put that on like a slightly denser brush like so and I'm gonna just put that along my brow bone to highlight it and to blend it more. And if that hasn't blended as much as you want, you can always go back with your fluffy brush and just kind of run over that in circular motion. Brill, and now we can go on to underlining the eyes. I'm just gonna take this angled brush from Sports Girl and I'm gonna dip into this darker brown shade and just line the bottom of my eyes with it, like my bottom lash line. And then I'm gonna just flip over to the other side and blend it out. And that is that for the eyes and now I'm going to go on to my foundation. So I'm just going to use the My Perfect Colour by Primark Foundation. This one's in the shade Nude. This is one of my favourite foundations so far. I just think it's got really good coverage. Feels nice on the skin, it looks nice on the skin. Kate's Beauty Station, I did a review on this before and said that it was a dupe to the Giorgio Armani foundation, so I just had to like snap that bad boy up. And it's only like £2.50, so I think like for the price of it as well. It's just genuinely amazing and yes I know that I did not apply that in the most hygienic way but that is just how I use it because nobody else like uses my makeup so it's fine and I'm just going to take my Spiva foundation brush and blend that into my skin and a little bit down my neck as well because strangely for me my neck never gets tanned but my shoulders do and like my forehead does but the rest of my like facial area doesn't so when I put on like a foundation that's tanner I just like look orange and like it suits the rest of my face it's just so strange okay cool and now that i've done that i'm gonna go back in with my concealer brush and find the eyebrow a bit better with the foundation it's like i always have to like bend myself in a weird way to do eyebrows okay and then i'm going to go in with my concealer again just to kind of like highlight the face a bit more and add a bit more coverage i just like put it in all these areas and then i just take my finger and i blend it out Okay, and I'm just going to powder that up. So for my powder, I'm just going to go back in with my Fineland powder. I've like hit pan on this. I don't know, I've mentioned in a few videos, I'm just trying to use this this powder up because I am, it's just taking up a lot of space. I do think it's an all right powder. Like, don't get me wrong. I just don't want it anymore. And I'm not the kind of person that throws stuff out. So I thought, thought I'd just use it all up. Um, but it is a good powder and it is quite cheap. If you're on a budget and want a setting powder, I would recommend it. And I find with powder, if you want like a streakless foundation and you know like the maximum coverage that you can get from your powder to tap it on first that way you're not moving around the foundation like you're actually setting it and then if you have too much you can just buff it into the skin because i feel like a shiny fat mess today i'm going to contour and highlight the living bejesus out of my face so to contour i'm going to go in with my mac dark deepest this is an old school classic for this channel i use it in nearly every single video and i'm just going to put that an angled brush and go ham on my face. And once I've bronzed my face, I'm just gonna go in with this highlight shade here, the same one that we used on the brow bone, and I'm gonna put that on my highlight and brush, and just highlight all the areas I usually highlight. So the top of my cheeks, because that's the part where the majority of the sun will hit. Um, I'd like to do a bit on my brow bone, just because I feel like that makes me look a bit more glowy. And I also think it helps like tie in the bronzer a bit better.
Now that's that for my base, I'm going to go back to my eyes and put on some mascara because my eyes are feeling a little bit bare. Um, and for that I'm going to use the Revlon Dramatic Definition Mascara. I got this in my glossy box a wee while ago and I actually don't mind it, it's quite a subtle look. I think it does the job and it definitely does lengthen. I don't think it's quite clumpy either, which a lot of mascaras tend to be pretty clumpy. I used to use this all the time on my channel and then I ended up like just switched into the Keiko Mini Divas mascara but I'm pretty sure I've run out of that now so I'm just kind of like savouring the last drops of it. Got a girlfriend, I'm jealous her. Now when it comes to mascara I tend to put on about two or three coats of mascara um, which I know is quite a lot for some people. You don't have to do that. I just find that it kind of gives me better results for what I'm going for. But I mean, again, as I said, like if that's not your thing, then that's not your thing and you don't have to do that. Okay, and now that we are almost done, we only have to do lips. I know that I told you the summer look was really simple, really easy and really quick. And for the lips, I'm going to go for something a bit bright. I mean, yeah, you want to be bronzy and everything, but a bit of colour kind of... I feel like brings out the bronze. So I am using the MUA Luxe Velvet Lip Lacquer in the shade Zest. I love this as a summer lip colour. Like look at that. I just think it's so bright and beautiful. Okay guys, so this is the final look. I hope that you enjoyed this video. As you can tell, it is a bit summery. The lips definitely do add a bit of summer flair to the look. The good thing about this lipstick is it's about like £2.50 to £3. However, um, I do find that it can be a little bit crumbly and a little bit streaky. That's not really a problem for me, but I think like if you were out for like a full day, this lipstick probably wouldn't hold up very well without needing topped up. But that's like a issue for like an individual person to make. I personally wouldn't mind, but other people might mind. A bit just thought I'd give that as like a PSA but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video if you'd like to see more videos from me don't forget to subscribe and like the video and if you do subscribe don't forget to hit the little notification bell because YouTube doesn't actually show subscriptions in subscription boxes without you you know hitting the bell to say that you want to be subscribed to the person it doesn't make any sense to me and um, probably won't make any sense to you but that's just what YouTube has told us but yeah that is it for me today thank you guys so much for watching this video it really means a lot to me hopefully I get to see you guys next time Bye!